Um, so how did you get here today then? Well, I walked here from Michael and I was on my way here and I got to Hill 60 and I met a fella, um, Peter Halsell, and I said, where are you going? I said, I'm walking to the fair. He said, so am I. So I said, what were you going? He said, well, I was going to go along the line all the way through to Peel and then go that way. I said, well, I'll show you the way old people from Michael used to go. So uh, we joined the line at uh, uh, Burke, walked along the line there, and then went up the hill uh, and then on the Stockfield Road, then onto the Starby Road, and then dropped down into here. And it took us about an hour and three quarters to get here. And what are you doing here anyway? Well, I'm, I brought rushes and I make uh, three legs and uh, bumby cages, just because I can. And because, you know, people people are interested and I, you can tell them the story. It's a wonderful story with the bumby cage about how it goes on. Bumbies or bumblebees, the old people used to say were bad fairies, naughty fairies, fairies that had done something wrong. And the Gilliamu and the gay big, lovely st the big boy of the wind the fairy captain would change them into a bumblebee to bumble about for the rest of their lives and children were shown how to make these and then they'd go and sit by a fox club wait for the bumblebee to go inside and then they'd put them inside the cage and they'd keep them trapped inside the cage now at night when the children had gone to bed mother would come along undo the top let the bumblebee go and then put something like i've got some shells here like a shells or something in inside you got a shell here, put shells or something. This is a, a fagog, a periwinkle, and put that inside. I always put three in to have, you know, three legs, a rattle. But an interesting thing about the fagog, if you put it in between your fingers like that, <whistles> got a whistle. Yeah, 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 good stuff. So, uh, so uh, I'm just sitting here making them and people come along for, for charity like that. Yeah. How, how important is it for your sort of sense of identity doing this? Oh, I think it's crucial, yeah. They, this is, I don't think they make bumby cages anywhere else in the world. We have classes, a mate and I do classes in Michael, and we show people how to make them. I was shown by an old boy, George Quayle, and I'm keeping that tradition going. And I make the three legs, and they're like, it, I suppose the, the St Bridget's Crosses that at the start aren't traditional. But uh, I'm sure they never made three legs as an island. I might, I might have invented it. I don't know. But I just made three legs, as you, as you can see. The, the rubber bands are on just to hold it together, and you just hang them up, and uh, just, you know, I, I can do it, and people think they're fantastic. They go all over the world. Have a good day. Go to my movie, Shade of Eight. <laughs>